Can you introduce yourself to the audience? Sure. Um, my name is Sam Houston. I'm the senior community manager at Bug Crowd. And essentially what that means is I work with the community of researchers um, and try to connect them with Bug Crowd and help connect Bug Crowd with them. So help those two groups of people um, talk with one another, essentially. So do you believe like bug bounty is the new opportunity and people should get involved into it like students or experts? Yeah, um, I've, you know, we're here this week in Goa and um, I've been meeting a lot of young people uh, today asking me how to get started and how to like start their career. And bug bounties are great, a uh, great way to do that because you're sh um, gaining real life experience and you're, you can show your future employer, your future like boss, that you have real world experience. So it's more important than like a certificate or something like that. Like, um, I think a lot of people kind of worry about those pieces of paper, but you know, it's, of course, it's great to get an education, but alongside that, bug bounties are a great addition because they help you gain that real world experience. You have that track record, your, even your bounty profile that you can link to um, when you're applying for a job, and all that stuff really helps you um, be more successful. And then even that, maybe you don't want a full-time job and you just want to become a full-time bug bounty hunter. <laughs> That's cool too. So. Um, Bug bounties can kind of fit into your life in however way you want them to fit into your life, I think. I see you are like mostly active on Twitter, Slack, Bug Bounty World, Bug Bounty Forum, and you are like mostly involved in the community. <laughs> so why you do that? Like, can you please explain about it? Yeah. Um, so I've been doing community management for my entire career. That's actually, you know, what I've been doing. Um, I didn't. I did that before I was in the security industry. So um, for me, what I learned early in my career is that you, it's important to go to where the community is and talk to them where they're at. And um, t today, that means, uh, with the, and especially with bug bounties, that means Slack and Twitter and all these different places, um, because I could try to force all these people to talk where we are, um, but it doesn't really work that way, right? People want to have their own communities. They want to um, maybe have their own rules or their own little groups. You know, a community has its own rules and community norms and traditions and all these sorts of things. So anyways, um, for me as a community manager, as someone who um, my job is basically to, to understand the community and the members of that community and what's important to them and what they're concerned about, what their problems may be. Um, and, and my job is to communicate that to um, the company I work for. And so for me, I feel like um, one of the ways I can do that best is by talking to the community and being where they're at. And at the very least, just kind of watching, maybe not talking all the time, but at least watching. Um, it brings its own challenges. You know, it's, um, bug, the bug bounty community is global, right? So I get a lot of messages at um, midnight, <laughs> you know, because we're here, it's, if it's one o'clock in the afternoon in, in India, that means it's um, midnight in California. Yeah. So, um, you know, I get a lot of messages um, all day basically or throughout the day um, and so it can be tough to manage and I'm certainly not perfect at it to kind of manage everyone's um, questions or whatever um, so it definitely is challenging but I think more than anything yeah I just I gain the ability to, to understand the community better and um, and I build those relationships with the community as well which I can tap into so if we have questions about something, if we want to like better understand how researchers think about something, or maybe we have, um, maybe you want just have an idea and we want to get feedback. Um, I really like using those channels like Twitter and Slack to reach out to people and just get feedback really quickly. 
uh, which is also super helpful as a startup. Um, you know, Bug Crowd, I joined Bug Crowd when we were only about 10 people, and now we're like 150. So yeah, it's grown a lot. And that means my job has changed a lot over the last five years in terms of what I do as a community manager. Um, but yeah, a lot of what I need to do is I need to be flexible, I guess, <laughs> and, and, and make sure that I know what's going on in the community, right? And so that's why I use that stuff, is just to make sure that I'm plugged in. So how do you feel like responding to messages and everything? Like, how do you manage that? <laughs> um, well, I, like I said, I, I have room to improve um, in terms of getting back to people on time and all this kind of stuff. But I, I do try to help people when I can. And, um, you know, I'm not a tech, I'm not a hacker myself. So um, it's hard because I can't answer everyone's questions. Or like I don't have access to um, submissions on the platform, so I can't mm -hmm. like look up a certain bug or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's I just I, you got to do what you got to do, basically. So um, you know, I I need to the community is reaching out to me, and I need to find some sort of way to respond, I guess. Um, and so we do our best to try to funnel everyone through, you know, support at bugcrowd.com for any sort of support with bug crowd but um i think it's it's important for bug crowd to have a few key people including me out there in the community so that the community knows that they can reach out to us and that we are approachable basically that we are accessible to them so you work as a community manager so you don't have like anything anything to do with technical stuff so do you look at those submissions when you receive messages or emails from researchers um no i don't um so we um have pretty strict access rules at bug crowd in terms of who has access to submissions so very few people actually do in the company um because we're a security company right and so we have um because we our job is to receive all these vulnerabilities from people, that means that bug crowd is a target, right? Of, for mm -hmm. other hackers. So, um, so that means that we need to have our security very tight, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, we have um, an access control system and all these sorts of things in place, these processes in place that basically mean Sam doesn't has to have access to submissions. <laughs> yeah, I don't have access to any, um, any of that sort of stuff. So the way that we the way that we deal with that is um, we have a process through our support team. Mm -hmm. So um, we try to funnel everything through our support email address at support at bugcrowd.com. And we just ask people to email that email address and include the bug IDs mm -hmm. for the submissions, if, like if they had a question about a particular submission. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how we help them. And um, the way it works is, you know, if someone has a question or maybe they disagree with something, we, since it goes through our um, support system, we can like escalate it to other managers or, you know, we have a whole process. So anyways, that's why when I say like, I can't help you with that, it's like for real, like, there is a process in place and it's actually better that way because otherwise like I might not be able to give you the best answer or sometimes it takes time because it takes time for the um, for us to get in touch with the customer and then them to respond to us so anyways we've got a team that manages that and we actually just grew it uh, we're, uh, we hired uh, more folks onto that team so we're we should have even better support than we've had in the past that's good and well <laughs> clearing <laughs> yeah can you tell like what can you recommend beginners how to get started with bug bounties? Sure. So there's a couple things that I would recommend. Um, at Bug Crowd, we just uh, at DefCon in 2018 we launched Bug Crowd University. Mm -hmm. So that's a section of our website where we're um, we are publishing um, videos and slides to help people um, learn more about. Um, various aspects of bug bounty hunting. Um, so, for example, we have a, a pre presentation on uh, in Bug Crowd University that just focuses on writing a good submission so that we can help people better understand how to write a good bug submission. 
But we also have um, a Bug Crowd University video that's about broken access control. And so people can um, learn how to find those sorts of bugs. So we're trying to um, provide uh, various videos there. We also have um, Level Up. So um, every, throughout the year, now we're doing it um, four times a year, we're doing online conferences that we stream on um, online on YouTube. And then we uh, save those videos and then they're for free on our YouTube channel. So um, youtube.com slash bugcrowd and just check out the Level Up um, video playlist and all of those or all of those will have um, some good videos for beginners to check out or just anyone to check out. And then lastly, um, I would Google um, how to get started uh, in bug bounties or how to get started bug bounties bug crowd and you'll find a blog post that I wrote um, that has uh, a number of different things to check out. But um, essentially what you need to do is just is start learning and then practice. So, you know, read and, and, and do what you can to watch videos on YouTube and do all these things. And then you can practice it on um, vulnerable applications or on, and maybe a capture the flag or whatever. Um, and then go from there. Hopefully, maybe you can find some people in your community, maybe people on um, Bug Bounty World or something like that that can maybe help you or work together with you. But um, yeah, it's, you're always learning when you're doing security. So if I ask you to give a message in one sentence, like how to get successful at bug bounties, what would you say? Never stop learning. <laughs> <laughs> That's a short sentence, but always be learning. Um, hacking is a lifelong journey. It's not something, you're not going to become the world's best hacker in a night or a week or a year or a decade even. You know, it takes, hacking is a lifelong journey because there's always something new. And um, you have to stay humble and know that you're never gonna be, there's no like best hacker in the world. There's obviously really talented people, mm -hmm. but those talented people are usually really talented in specific things, right? There's no one person that can do everything. And that's important to remember, right? Because I think we get intimidated and we get we feel like we're um, what they call imposter syndrome, where you don't feel like you're good enough, you know, or that you shouldn't be there or something like that. But that's not true, you know. We all, everyone's a beginner at some point, like I was saying in another question. And so, um, yeah, always be learning and stay humble and, um, and don't give up, you know. And um, those things will help you have success. Um, beyond that, um, hopefully you can meet some good people like in Bug Bounty World and other places on, on Twitter. Because um, you want to build up your network of other hunters so that you can ask them questions. Or even just, I don't know, get on Discord and hang out on the voice chat or something like that. You know, have friends that also understand that this is tough, you know? Because if you don't have other people to talk to that might not understand that bug bounties are this weird, tough thing, um, it might be hard, you know? It might, you might feel alone. Um, I think some people on the internet think that bug bounties are like magical ATM machines that just like make money spit out, you know what I mean? Because some hackers make it seem like that because they tweet out, oh, I just made $10,000 on this bug, but those are very few and far between, right? There's not many $10,000 bugs that are found. Um, it, obviously it happens, but it's not like um, just happening left and right. It takes time to find those bugs. Those are bugs that are hard to find. And so um, you should, uh, as someone who's on the other side of the screen seeing those tweets, don't feel like, oh, I'm not finding a $10,000 bug, so therefore I suck or I'm not finding a 5,000 or 2,000 or even a $1,000 bug or whatever. We all started somewhere and you just have to work your way up and um, as you gain those new skills, you'll become even better.